So we got a 2017 Nissan X-Trail. It's the T32 um, non-hybrid vehicle. Customer complaint is that the vehicle sounds very rough, especially this was like in a little fender bender, and they asked, they recently changed the plugs, I believe, and when they got in an accident, there was the day after, they was able to start the vehicle, bring it home, and then when they brought it home, it started acting up again. So they threw coils at it, and still acting up again. So let's fire up this vehicle and see what symptoms are they getting. Initially, it's getting a hard start. Check engine light is on. I right, feel like it's a heavy, like rough idle. A mess. See. And uh, yeah, basically this time is fine. All right, so let's see how the engine is running. It's actually vibrating very rough. So like I said they threw the coils at it. You know, hoping that it will solve the problem. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm seeing the check engine light on. So let's scan for some codes real quick and see if we can pick anything up. Just gonna put the key on. Alright, so this is a 2017 Nissan X trail as I said. It is. Um this is a non-hybrid. Alright, so you heard how the vehicle was had the rough start. Let's do a manual select. It's come from I believe Japan. Right now the battery is low. I'm seeing like 12.14. Wanna let the customer know that they need to get this the battery checked out or replaced. Um it's 2017. Alright, so let's go straight to the ECU or ECM, same thing. See if we get any codes like for coils or plugs or anything you know misfire related let's read four codes so i'm getting a crank sensor circuit code ip0335 um do you throw a crank sensor at it? no of course not because that could come from basically the misfire right where the misfire is causing the cranks um shaft to move you know the piston move very slow right so we gotta figure out what else do we have here can i do they have ignition counters or misfire counters let's see no it doesn't misfire counters no we don't so what i'm gonna do is just pick my alpha real quick let's see what's going on start the vehicle up So is it fuel, is it air? You know, that's what I'm going after. Let's come out of here real quick. Go back in. So the alpha is good. Um, let's look for fuel injected. B schedule. So one thing about ignition um, faults, it don't really, you know, have an effect on the alpha, right? The air fuel relationship compared to like if a fuel injector of a massive fuel is is off, right? So what I'm gonna do? Let me just put my scope on it real quick, do a quick check on the coils and see what's good. Let's check these coils. Oh no. You see, you see flat line on number one. You see number two. On two. Same thing. So it looks like these cores are even contributing. Number three looking okay. So I'll get your close up. And this is number four right here. So it looks like there's a I just said they replaced the coil and they're still getting the same problem, but 
Let's pull these plugs and see what issue got me on again. Let's stop this. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these plugs and see how they look. There's a lot of fake plugs on the market right now, fake coils, fake plugs that's causing a lot of mag uh, ignition problems. Right, um, so let's pull these plugs and look at it and post our set of plugs, original plugs in my car. Alright, so these were the coils that was removed. They're looking good. No signs of carbon tracking, anything like that. So, as I said, man, you know, maybe center beam these coils for these things, but let's get down to it and replace these plugs. Let's pull these plugs out and then we'll know for sure what's going on if it's the plugs or the coils, but most likely it's the plugs or number one or number two cylinder. So, let me just pop this off, put the camera down, and get busy. All right, so we're gonna pop this. Off. Do I need to remove this to get it? No, I don't actually. It's really good. So let's take this off. This is actually better than the Nissan Versa. That off. Make sure I secure my bolts. Right, so let's take the coils out. number four and number one. I'm just gonna rest these to the side. Number three. Number three looks original. Use the pliers, soften up a little bit. What is this number three? It's number two. I'm gonna just take number two off. Maybe I'm gonna get access to the plugs next. And as I said, man, did a lot of case studies with that fake plug thing because everyone is being copied or catched right um you can't blame the suppliers because or the parts space because they tend to you know go with the flow but we as the technicians out here need to tell inform them that the stuff that they purchasing is kind of no good you know you got Chinese coils, you got Chinese plugs. I'm not blaming Chinese, I'm just saying. Got a lot of fake things on the market, right? I'm not sure where it's coming from, but it's kind of making my job harder right now because you gotta keep taking these plugs and coils out. Some of the, some of the plugs, I gotta move the intake manifold just to get it out. You know, so that within itself is on what time very time consuming you gotta get it done right i'm gonna pop these off and this yes i could take this off but i really don't the move just gonna get access to it real quick in fact let's break all these and use the, the ratchet impact and get it out
to explain to me is that he uh, didn't think it was a plug because you know he just recently changed it. Oh, look at this one. This one is like really wet. It's not even burning. It's my gas also. That's probably explain why the in the back of the exhaust it was smaller than that. That white smoke because basically it's dumping gas. I have no burn time. Right? Let's check number two. So number two and number one was the worst one. You can let me see if I can give you a close up. So this is number this is number one, number two. Right? You see how wet it is? Right? So basically they're not even doing their job. Right, so let's get number three and number four out. This is number three. Number three got some like some white stuff on it, you know. And at least he he's burning a little better than number one and two. Number four was uh, just like number three, but you know, it's, it's not wet. wet so and wow and I think I found what was going on seem like this whoever changed these plugs you know made an error look they got three NGKs and one Denzo and this would they, they catch a client now you could come you could come and see um Basically, they had a NGK number four, number three was a Denzo, and I mean, this is what you pay for. So you got you know, different brands, different brands, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, not just different brands; it is it's fake plugs on the old, so yeah, all black. Yep. So they like they're not burning, so we're gonna pop these original spark plugs in i'm gonna inspect it before i do it too all right it's kind of hard to tell but i'm not sure not yet not yet no so let me see let me see those plugs look like all right so if you look on these ngks right look in the ngks you know you have the iranian tip on it compared to what came out of this box i'll get it i want fake plugs Look, just took it out of this box just now. Same NGK, same code, same everything. What are you gonna do? So as I said, I'm gonna pop those in. Let's talk the talk it to specs and put some dielectric grease on it. Yeah, you don't drop the spark plugs in this. You don't you got magnet or something, this is kind of guided down. As best as you could, so you don't damage the or make the gap smaller. That happened to me before where I dropped a spark plug and it closed, it closed the gap on the spark plug. You don't want that, right? So, we're gonna. We're going to start the vehicle and do our checks. I don't think we have anything to clear right now, but let's see. So, we'll do our checks and see how it works. Alright, so we're going to check the number one. Okay, give me a snap. Again. Alright, so that's number one. Do number two real quick. Like I said we got a little burnt fuel in the system, so we will get a little peak. Bad snap. That's number two. 
This is number three. Go ahead, snap. This is number four. Alright, so we're going to call that a fix. Right, we had fake spark plugs. And well, the coil was put in there thinking it was a coil. But as you can see, the last mechanic put fake plugs in, put NGK and Denzo, and charged the customer for original plugs, I believe. So we had two plugs not firing. Actually, all these are fixed. So that was causing the misfire. Let's go by the muffler and see if we still getting the same misfire noise or not. Alright, so we're gonna call our case closed. So next time, like, subscribe, share, comment, criticism, you know how we do. Later. So for a bonus video, we're gonna look at our alpha which is our fuel trim to make sure that we did what we're supposed to do by repairing this vehicle right now I'm at 95 um, when I first got in the car I didn't show it I was like 100 it was climbing actually to like 120% so that's cool how we learn on all our values then we're supposed to be close to 100 let's get out of here um, for the special function we're going to do our self learn count, reset all our monitors, clear it, alright so basically it's completed, um, what else I'm going to do here, I'm going to go idle relearn I guess, don't have to but let's do it, let's be here, but I gotta wait till it warms up, alright in the meantime you can just you know, we do our checks. As we do our checks on the, make sure that we can we supposed to get. All right, so I'm right now I'm at 2.62 millisecond on number one. Number, sorry, let's see if I can get access to. It. Alright, so this is number two. This is number three. And this is number four. I would prefer that the gap be um, probably where I got the probe. I don't know if it looks like it's where I have the probe. That's not allowing me to pick up like it's supposed to. Is it that the gap is wide? I'm not sure. These are new plugs. I didn't check the gap or anything like that. I just popped them in. Because it was now purchased. I'm going to do a relearn. Either relearn on the system and that's it. So, that said, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Take it easy.